Hello everybody, in case you didn't catch up the part 1 of this video, I would leave the link below and do check that out. I don't want to bore you guys, so let's get along with this one. So quickly, let's just get on with how to apply foundation. I'm going to be using the MAC foundation. So I'll, I'll be using the Zoeva buffer brush on this side and I'll be using the Nika sponge on the other side. So uh, this would give me more coverage because like you see how these bristles are like densely packed in this brush. So uh, the more dense they are, the, the more like, you know, the coverage is going to be on your face. The coverage with the sponge would be much lesser than the one with the brush. I would just blend some on my finger like this just to heat it up and I would just dot this all over my face. I just drag the product around my face. Okay. So I drag it around. So the first, you know, the, the first layer of my foundation is done. Foundation usually just doesn't stick on my nose. Okay. It just separates. It just slips off. It just, it, it, it's just not a cute look. So what I do is I, you know, I just use foundation directly on my nose with my finger. So just dab it, you know, just across your nose. Especially in the crevices, you know, it just comes off. So, okay, I finished this half of my face and you can still see a lot of scars going on. So what I would do is, I would go about it with another layer. Like just on my cheeks where I have a lot of, you know, breakouts. And I would just dab now. So the first time we applied, I, I buffed the foundation all the way in. Now I'm just going to like, you know, dab, dab, dab. The trick with the nose is do the same thing again. Just dab it in. The longer you blend your foundation, the more skin like it's going to look. So once you're like, you know, once you're satisfied with all the blending, just go about with like very, very, very light strip. You don't want to like just go about like, you don't want to stab your face. Okay. So you just go about with this like very, very gentle stippling motions. So on the right side, I'll be going out with the remaining foundation. I think I might need some more. Let's see. So it's the same thing again. Just dab it all across. So once you're done dabbing, just take your, uh, just, just take your blender and just blend it right in. So with your blender, you don't want to like drag it, you know, then you, then you're just going to lose the coverage, which you need. So you just, just got to like dab, just press it inwards. Just like hold it like this. Okay. Just squash it in like this and you just, with your finger here, just press it. So just place it and press it. Place it, press it. In case you press it too hard, first thing, you're going to move the product. Second thing, you're going to like move the makeup a little too much. And you'll just be like lifting the makeup off your skin. So whatever you're applying is just going to come back on your sponge, which is not a good thing. So, so once I'm done with my foundation, uh, I, I just take a stippling brush and I go all over. Make sure that your brush is like hardly touching your face, you know, just uh, just the surface of the brush should be like, you know, in contact with your face. You don't move the product a lot because you have used some of the product for setting your blemishes. So you don't want it moving about. So you can like stipple it in. The next thing to do would be to powder your face. So you, you got to wait for your foundation to dry a bit. Okay. So imagine that you have something wet and if you keep adding powder, what happens to it? It's just going to, you know, it's just going to suck in more and more product. So you, you don't want your face taking in a lot of powder because the more powder you use, the more cakey your face is going to start looking. So what you might want to do is to first not go about with so much powder. Just wait till your foundation starts to set. Once the foundation starts to like sink in my face and it kind of sets, I go in with a translucent powder. I'm using this, uh, this Innisfree powder. So what I do is, um, I take some of it on the lid itself. I use my fingers. And I just like, you know, like dab at this part, you know, so the heat from my fingers could help the product melt a little more and it wouldn't like sit in all the creases under my eyes. So I look up when I'm doing this and, you know, at the tip of the, uh, at the tip of the sponge, I've taken some powder, right? I just start to like dab it across here. I would like to call this method as like. So this is something I call is like spot powdering. Okay. So I don't powder the entire of my face. I powder in my nose and uh, I, I powder, you know, around my mouth and I powder my T-zone just a bit and I'm done mostly. So I just take some of this 
and I just dab it in like this. As I have oily skin, I like to like, you know, like press the So I, I just tend to like press the powder in and it just like, you know, this sits as a fine layer above my skin. So uh, once the oil starts to come out, it could like help it like not be shown outside. Why I would prefer a translucent powder over um, a compact is because compact would like add more product on your face. So in terms of product, it adds more coverage. Okay, so basically your, your foundation is already done. So basically your foundation is already done and, and, and the coverage is also high. So I, I mean, so on top of it, if you're just going to add more and more of coverage, this is going to start becoming cakey at some point, you know. So you might want to avoid all that and you could just use a translucent powder. I do hope that finding your right foundation shade would be easier next time when you're going out for shopping. And I hope you found this video useful and uh, until next time, bye. I really hope you enjoyed this video and do hit that red subscribe button in the bottom if you like it and give me a thumbs up too. Thank you so much.